But more than, more than 1,000 Americans have abandoned the American dream to volunteer for battle in the name of Islam. Some have taken part in foreign wars and some even plotted terrorist attacks on American soil. It's all documented in the book Jihad Joe. Viewers Caroline Turner talked with the author about the phenomenon. Americans were shocked by the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks, and there are many unanswered questions about the so-called American jihadists who helped the hijackers. Investigative journalist Jan Berger says at least 1,400 Americans have participated in military jihads over the past 30 years. He was in Washington recently to discuss his book, Jihad Joe. His book claims that the 9-11 attacks involved the same people responsible for the 1998 East Africa U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania. Berger also says that more than 50 Americans have become part of al-Qaeda. Two of the most perplexing cases, he says, are Adam Gadan, a Jewish Californian who became an al-Qaeda spokesman, and Anwar Avlaki, the Yemeni-American imam with suspected links to 9-11. The 2009 Fort Hood, Texas massacre and the 2009 Christmas Day shoe bomber plot, which failed to bring down a plane bound for Detroit. In 2011, Avlaki was killed in a reported U.S. drone strike. Berger says, the path to radicalization begins with the belief that Muslims are a victim class. A key point of uh, al-Qaeda's ideology is that Islam is under attack from the West, and they see this attack happening in multiple ways. They believe that, you know, U.S. troops uh, in the Middle East, any kind of presence of U.S. troops, even if they're being housed by a government there, is, is a, an offense against their sovereignty. Berger published an open letter that asks the jihadists to consider their accomplishments. They have destroyed almost every country where they have a presence. Um, they reduce cities to rubble. They pit the people against each other. They have not done anything to defend or help the Muslims that they claim to be defending and helping. The American jihadists from Alabama Omar Hamami, known for his rap videos for al-Shabaab, became an Islamist militant commanding al-Shabaab forces in Somalia. Last year, after a dispute, he was killed in ambush by his former al-Shabaab allies. I argued to anybody who would listen to me that they should try and argue, offer Hamami some kind of deal because we don't have any exit path for somebody who joins al-Qaeda and realizes they've made a terrible mistake. Berger's book is critical of the U.S. counterterrorism program. One of the most important things that I think we can do is, is figure out a way to let people leave al-Qaeda and come back to the United States under close supervision, but without having to face the prospect of 20, 30, 40 years in prison. Berger says without providing an avenue for disenchanted American jihadists to return home, they are doomed to become suicide bombers or terrorists. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.